Hi, so it's the end of 2023 and I thought that I'd record a quick video telling you all about the research we've been doing over the last year. And really this is down to all of the productivity and creativity of my wonderful team, all of whom I'm very, very proud of. So our research can broadly be categorized into two topics, imitation learning methods where human demonstrations are used to teach a robot and zero shot methods where we study pre-trained vision language models to perform tasks without needing to provide any demonstrations. And let's begin with imitation learning. So we're particularly focused on efficient imitation learning. For example, in this work here, we realized that one-shot imitation learning can be formulated as a combination of unseen object pose estimation and trajectory transfer in order to transfer a demonstration to new object poses. And here you can see our robot learning a number of tasks very quickly, each from just a single demonstration with immediate deployment after that demonstration. And we also show that these tasks can be performed in the presence of distractors. But what about generalization to novel objects? Well, we also studied a framework which uses nearest neighbor retrieval based on visual features to generalize a demonstration to different objects of the same category and even different objects of different categories. In our experiments, we broke down other recent imitation learning methods into a taxonomy and found that the combination of retrieval for generalization and alignment and replay for object interaction was the optimal combination for all design choices in the taxonomy. This then led to our project called DinoBot, where we started looking into the semantic powers of pre-trained Dino features, whose key points can be used to generalize a skill learned on one object to a new previously unseen object. So all of the tasks shown here required only a single demonstration, after which the robot could immediately perform the task and then generalize to novel objects. So retrieval-based generalization works well, but we've also been exploring an idea to achieve generalization to novel objects by training on randomly warped objects in simulation. This data allows us to train a graph neural network to predict how good an alignment of objects is when conditioned on some real-world demonstrations. And this method, implicit graph alignment, then enables few-shot imitation learning. From just three or four demonstrations, a robot can learn to generalize a task to previously unseen objects. And rather than just replaying the demonstration as in our other work, we can now predict a sequence of end effector poses that are tailored to the shapes of these novel objects. Okay, so that was our recent work on imitation learning. And I'm now going to shift to our zero shot methods. So we've been studying object rearrangement for a while, such as our method scene score, which can learn to predict the cost of an arrangement of objects. However, this is not zero shot. It requires training on a data set of example object arrangements, which can be laborious. To address this, we invented DaliBot, which calculates a simple text description of the objects and then uses an image diffusion model to predict an image depicting how these objects should be arranged. And because these image diffusion models have been trained on huge web scale data of human made scenes, they can be used by robots to understand how objects should be arranged naturally in everyday scenes. However, DaliBot can only generate 2D images, whereas the world is 3D. So we then came up with the idea to build a 3D nerf of a scene and then render 2D images of candidate object arrangements. Computing the clip similarity with a language command then enables the robot to choose the best arrangement. And here we show how dream to real can solve a range of rearrangement tasks, including those requiring reasoning in 3D. So these zero shot methods so far were just for pick and place. 
What about more complex trajectories and what about the emergence of large language models? Well, we, we decided to study if GPT-4 has the inherent ability to directly predict end effector trajectories when given only an object segmentation model and a single task agnostic prompt without any in-context examples or external trajectory optimizers. And our experiments across a range of tasks showed promising performance that raises the previously assumed limit of what language models can do for robotics. And finally, as well as using pre-trained vision language models for robotics, we've also been building our own vision language models. In this work, we developed Prisma, a method to combine the knowledge of several pre-trained expert models across diverse capabilities into a unified framework for multimodal reasoning. And there you go. So thanks for watching, and I hope that gave you a helpful overview of what we've been up to recently. And stay tuned for more over the coming months. Bye for now.